Okay, one of the coolest things about electronics is taking the knowledge that you have learned and applying it to real life problems. In this video segment, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create a light sensitive switch that we can use for turning on lights when it gets dark and so forth. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the schematic diagram to it so that you can develop the circuit on your own if you decide this is something you want to do. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, project. Okay, here's the light sensitive switch circuit that I've been talking about. In this circuit, I have a resistor, a photocell, potentiometer, op amp, and a light emitting diode. The photocell here, what it does is it changes resistance based off of the amount of light that is on the photocell top here. I'm using the potentiometer here to determine the sensitivity of the circuit and the op amp is configured as a comparator and then the LED here is just being used to indicate that the circuit is working or to be more exact it's the LED will light up whenever the photocell has less light put on it so let's go ahead and demonstrate the circuit here now and what you'll notice is that if, as I put my hand over the photocell the LED will turn on and so there goes the LED it turns on if I move my hand the LED goes off uh, one more time if I put my hand over the LED and block the light or pardon me over the photocell and I block the light the LED comes on and when I remove my hand the LED goes off and so let's take a look now if I was to turn off the light and this will be I guess a bit more dramatic than what I've done so far when I turn the light off here the LED comes on and then when I turn the light back on the LED goes off now let's see that again light off my LED comes on and when I turn the light back on the LED goes off and so this covers the demonstration end of this uh, this uh, video segment and so at the end what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show the parts list in case you decide you want to do this as a project and the schematic diagram to assist you with that